Hi everyone and welcome to my Monday morning Facebook Live or Monday Mojo as I like to call it. Hello and welcome. It's Marcy Denning here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and today I have a um, fabulous quick and easy card for you. Um, to use up that designer series paper or DSP, as um, most of us call it, um, you may have a lot kicking around in your craft rooms and you're just not using it. So um, I thought, you know what, today I have some too. And as the uh, retiring list for the annual catalog comes out on the 24th, Yes, just two more days. Um, the retiring list is going to come out for the annual catalog. So we are going to find out what is carrying over and what is not. And designer series paper never does. So let me just remind you that. All right, I forgot to grab it. So here we go. Um, let me open it up close it so that you can see. this is the annual catalog this is retiring May 3rd because May 4th we have the new catalog going live this catalog here the mini it goes till June the 30th so um, this catalog here June the 30th this catalog here May the 3rd so the retiring list will be coming out on the 24th. So, um, Hi, whoops, I forgot to turn down my iPad. <laughs> All right. Good morning, Anne, Jeannie, Cindy. Thanks for joining me. So today's card is quick and easy. I am using the Pierced Bloom dies. I'm using this fabulous label die. To be honest, this is the first die I've used from this set. <laughs> so many stamps. I need to really like dig into that uh, shelf and pull out stuff I haven't used. So this label, my sentiment is from Hydrangea Haven. Love this You Make Me Smile. I'm using Butterfly Brilliance. Love this set, stamp set. It's a Although it's called a back a stamp set, it's a background stamp because it's all um, one giant stamp. And then the Artistry Blooms Designer Series Paper. And as you can see, I am very proud of myself. I am down to just this one full sheet. Um, the opposite side may not be everybody's cup of tea. It's certainly not my cup of tea. However, we have two sides to our paper and if the one a side isn't um your um jam then flip it over and look at the opposite side b side i love this so i've been loving chopping my paper as you can see and i made quite a few cards yesterday using this but i'm quite proud that i've almost used up an entire package of this designer series paper let me move that to the side. Oh, I need this. Um, so these are the cards that I had created with that designer series paper. Aren't they so lovely and easy? Quick and easy. And when we're mass producing, that's what we want. So um, this is the more, uh, the deeper blues, the lighter blues. And then, oh, thank you for sharing, Jeannie. And then the um, purples, pinks, and oranges. So, and I heat embossed my sentiment. I've already gone ahead and heat embossed that label um, this morning so that we were good to go. All right, so let's just put that right there. And then the pattern that I'm using is this one here um, that this backside is is cool I like it but some of the other ones were a little intense for me but this here is the one I'm going to be using and my color is gray granite 
And we are gonna use the Stamparatus because it is a giant stamp and it makes it so much easier. Um, so my card base is my Thick Basic White, as always, the four and a quarter by 11 and scored at five and a half. And then my designer series paper is four inches by five and a quarter. So you're gonna get six of these card fronts from one 12 by 12 sheet. So awesome that you could get six um, card fronts from one piece. And then this is three and three quarters by five. It is the just the basic white. So let me just move this over so that we are in total view. You can see I was doing a lot of stamping. Oh, I can feel the embossing powder on there as well. So what I like to do, although you probably can't see, I put a um, little tick mark in the corner so that because my cardstock is cut right down to size, so I'm not wasting. So I put a little pencil tick mark in the corner up here so that I know that every time I go to uh, do another piece um, to line it up there, that's the corner that I'm gonna be using. So line that up there because I can't use the magnet to um, hold it down. So I'm just gonna take my gray granite, a nice neutral tone, and Jeannie, what's your weather up there in Thunder Bay like? Yesterday was a beautiful day. We got outside and did a tiny bit of tidying in the backyard, and then Brad and Connor decided it was time to go to the driving range. So um, I came down to my studio to craft. So today we're hoping to get out and get some more done. So I've covered my entire card, my entire stamp here. I'm just gonna flip that door over and grab my sleeve. I have not been to the dollar store yet to get one of those dry erase markers that one of my lovely YouTube uh, viewers had told me about. So um, I just keep pulling my sleeve down all right, so lift up, and there we have our beautifully stamped background. Easy peasy. This is perfect for your mass production. Um, like I said, I did so many yesterday and uh, got stamps on them, and they are off in the mail. Okay, so we are going to fold and burnish and just because it's easy doesn't mean it's um, plain or boring you can add those extra little details like I did as you can see I'm going to show you how I created this um, very fine look with the twine I've used the Snail mail twine combo pack, the white. All right, so we are going to take our liquid glue. Cover that. So that just a smidge is showing. You could make it smaller, your panel, to make it so that you've got a bit more showing, but I think this is lovely. And a great way to use up that designer series paper. We don't want to hoard it. We want to share the love with it and get it onto a card or a scrapbook page, some kind of gift box, and send it off so somebody else can appreciate it. Sitting on our shelf does not um, 
do much for it. So we want to make sure that we use it. Okay, so I am going to take my twine and I'm going to hold the end and then wrap one, two, three, four, because I want it to be fairly big. I'm going to snip it and then you can see it's already started to unfurl there. So I'm gonna grab, so I've got two strands and two strands, and I am just going to pull it apart. And I'm gonna take the other end it, as it's um, twisted around itself to create the one strand. You just have to keep at it to unfurl it. Good morning, Lynn, thanks for joining. Yeah, so this way, you know, when you do something like this, it takes the bulk out. I mean, our the white baker's twine um, from the snailed, snail mail um, pack is not that thick. Not like stuff we've had previously. We've had some stuff that was really thick um, and I found it very bulky and hard to use. So there we have. Now you could even go a step further and pull it apart so you've got a single strand so it's very fine, but I don't want that for this card. So then, as you can see, I've got my very long strand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my label here and I'm gonna take my stamp and seal and I'm going to just apply a strip at each side nice and long so that as I create my um, circle underneath I've got lots of area of sticky so I'm just gonna have it so that that tail comes across like that and then all you have to do is just wind it and you can make your loops as big or as small as you want. I find it easier to do it this way, whoops, than on my hand, because sometimes when you're doing it on your hand, it can get stuck in all that when you're trying to pull it off, you might get it too tight. So this way, I'm just taking a few moments to Add, and you don't want them all the same size because what's the fun in that? We want it a little different. And then you can flip it over to see what you're thinking. If it's going the way you were hoping. So, one more. And we want this one here to come, this tail to come the opposite side so that they're not, not both on the one. That's fun and cute. All right, so now look at this, guys. I've got another um, thing of dimensionals, another sheet cleared off. And yes, I'm going over that little bit there. It's, it's fine. It's not that thick that it's going to give a big lump. And I'm putting my dimensionals so that they are covering um, they're covering that. Oops, look at that. We've got a, a wonky one here that jumped ship there. There. Um, to cover that sticky so that it's not getting stuck to anything else. And my whole goal with 
this card was to use up designer series paper. Get one less packet, full package off of my shelf. So it just gives that extra little, I mean, yes, it's white on white basically, but when you're gonna tuck it to the corner over here, to the left-hand side, and it's going to kind of cover up part of those butterflies, it um, does show a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, frog in my throat there, but I wanted it to be really subtle, that look of um, having it on there. I thought without it, it looked too plain. So then our next thing to uh, finish off the card is the opal rounds. Look at this, guys. I've used another one of these. I'm almost out. So my glue, and we're going to in the triangle formation because that is more pleasing to the eye. And then one up here. Take your pick tool. So one. It's hard to see where I put that glue. Two and come on. Right there. Three. And we are done. So I have used a lot of my designer series paper up and created a lot of different cards using <clears throat> what do you think? I think they are so pretty. They are very simple, very quick and easy to mass produce, really. This, the label is the longest time consumer thing, but you know what? Didn't take that much time at all. So um, if you've got a bunch of cards you want to send out to somebody, um, this is perfect. You can just change your sentiment to whatever the occasion need be. And you've used up a lot of your... Um, a lot of your stash like I have and then you can take and add these little bits um, I, which I didn't for this but cut it down and add it to the inside as well um, to decorate the inside up thank you Jeannie yeah, I, I think they're very very pretty very simple um, I love the way the gray granite is noticeable but not like in your face when I was playing, where did I tuck it? I also, oh, here we go, try, but this was, didn't turn out quite the way I had hoped. I stamped and embossed on the black with the white, and then I came in with my watercolor pencils. Eh, jury's still out. I'm not sure I really like the way that turned out, but I just thought, you know, let's, let's have a little play. So that, oh my goodness, I said it was quick and easy and I wasn't kidding because it is 1019 and I am done. So if there's any questions, you had a beautiful day yesterday, Jeannie, he says, but today you have rain. We have not had a whole lot of rain here. I'm not sure why um, they call for it and then it doesn't happen. We had a little bit of drizzle. I'm hoping for rain to clear, clean things up. And um, I always find that after a good rain in the spring, the grass just gets nice and bright and green. All right, that is all for me today. I am crossing my fingers that my paper pumpkin will arrive tomorrow. Um, it was delayed this month. 
sadly. So I'm hoping that Wednesday's live will be Paper Pumpkin finally. So yes. All right, guys, that's it for me. Have a fabulous Monday. And I will see you on Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Bye for now.